जय हिंद एवरी वन आई एम प्रभात कुमार एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू पी वाई क्यू अकेडमी इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द पार्ट टू ऑफ द साइंस क्वेश्चन ऑफ एन डी ए वन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी सिक्स टू क्वेश्चन नंबर हंड्रेड सो एज वी नो दैट टिल नाउ and the questions uh, uh, mostly the questions are from the uh, the science portion of class 9 and 10 and also few questions are from uh, class 11 and 12 but those questions are the easy questions okay so uh, the motive behind uh, this video is not just you to provide just the answer but uh, i also try to provide the uh, detailed explanation as well as the source uh, so that you you can get a insight uh, get the uh, get get proper insight that uh, from where the questions are being picked and how to predict questions uh, before examination okay so let's uh, start our discussion for today so let's uh, come to the question number 76 okay so the first question for today is which one of the following groups is called amphibians of plant kingdom okay so exactly taken question from the class uh, 9th ncert chapter 7 you can see here in the uh, bryophyta column that uh, there are these are called amphibians of the plant kingdom that means bryophyta so answer here is option a next which one of the following is caused by bacterial pathogen okay so uh, the this question has been taken from the chapter of uh, chapter 13 okay of class 9 so there is one digit chapter in which in the in which uh, there is a paragraph and there you will find the answer of this question that uh, common examples of disease caused by viruses are common cold influenza डेंगू फेवर एड्स ओके सो डेंगू एंड एड्स ओके बोथ आर फ्रॉम वायरस सो दीज आर इन करेक्ट देन वी नो दैट कोरोना वायरस इज ऑल्सो कॉज ड्यू टू वायरस सो वी आर लेफ्ट विथ ओनली टाइफॉइड एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो सी दैट इन द नेक्स्ट लाइन इज सेल्फ डिजीजेज लाइक टाइफॉइड कोलेरा ट्यूबर क्लोसिस एंड एंथ्रेक्स आर कॉज बाय बैक्टीरिया ओके सो द आंसर हेयर इज ऑप्शन डी नेक्स्ट The twinkling of a star is due to atmospheric. So again, a very much repeated question, and directly from NCERT, apparent star position due to atmospheric refraction. So answer is a refraction of starlight. Option C. Next question: A mass M is dragged by a pulley on a horizontal plane by a force anti-parallel to its displacement. So the work done in the in pulling the mass m okay so let's first make the figure so suppose this is a pulley okay and some block is here okay and it is being pulled by some anti parallel force that means if you are pulling this way the displacement is in this direction okay and this is this block is of mass m so we know that the formula of work done is Work done equals to F S cos theta. Okay, so theta that means the angle between the displacement and the force. So here, the angle between the displacement and force is nothing but one eighty degree. Okay, both are apart. So we can put here W equals to F S. Okay, uh, cos theta. So it will be cos. One eighty degree, cos one eighty degree is nothing but minus one, so it will be minus F S. So the question was just asking about the whether it will be positive, negative, or infinite or zero. So definitely it will be a negative force. So very easy question. Next, a five newton force is defined when a mass of ten kg is accelerated with. Okay, so. we know the formula force is equals to mass into acceleration okay so let's put it 
mass uh, force here is 5 newton and mass is 10 kg equals to acceleration so it will be 1 by 2 that means 0 0.5 meter per second square so it will be 0 0.5 meter per second square so answer is option b next a boy of mass 12, 52 kg jumps with a horizontal velocity of 2 meter per second on to a stationary cart of mass 3 kg the cart is fixed with frictionless wheels so which one of the following would be the speed of the cart so this is a question uh, from a chapter 9 in chapter 9 of class 9 in CIT book of science and the 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 numerical is exactly same uh, of example 9.7 okay but only the numbers has been changed here it is 52 kg and in the example it was 40 kg okay so uh, the principle uh, which is required is the conservation of momentum that means momentum before the motion and momentum after motion should be equal so so here mass is m1 is 40 kg okay and uh, v1 is 5 meter per second uh, then the mass of cart is that means m2 is 3 kg okay and we have to find v2 so uh, by the uh, principle uh, let's uh, let me tell you the, what was the case that there was a cart of mass 3 kg and there is, was a person who, who was of mass 52 kg coming with a speed of so that means velocity of 5 meter per second and it jumps okay so due to the momentum it will move with some velocity so we have to find this velocity okay now so the momentum before this okay means before the whole the, this accent and and after this accent will be same so so initial velocity of the cart is zero okay we will also consider it so we know that the momentum is given by p equals to mv so initial case it will be m1 v1 okay plus m2 v2 equals to it will be also m2 v2 okay so now let's take m3 v3 okay so m3 will be nothing but because this person will jump into the cart so the whole weight will be like 52 plus 3 that means 55 now the cart the mass of the whole body will be 55 kg so m3 will be 55 uh, sorry 55 kg okay and we have to find the v3 here v2 is nothing but 0 okay so 40 into 5 plus 3 into 0 equals to 55 into v3 so 40 into 5 200 plus this will be 0 so 200 divided by 55 v3 so oh, let's uh, 511 times and 540 times okay am i making some mistake no so if i have to take uh, let's let me check it first yes i did a mistake here so it will not be 14 to 5 okay it is it is there okay i have to take the these two terms okay so it will be uh, 52 into 2 let's make it here 52 into 2 plus uh, 3 into 0 equals to 55 into v 3 okay so it will be 104 divided by 55 equals to v3 so when you will divide 55 with 104 you will find one times 55 so 14 9 5 14 and 9 minus 4 9 minus 5 4 so point 490 so you will it will be like 8 times okay so your, your answer is option b okay the question was very much simple that a boy a boy of mass 52 kg was coming and it jumped onto a stationary cart 
so what will be the uh, with what velocity the cart will move so here we will apply the the principle of conservation of momentum that means momentum before the action and momentum after the action so momentum is given by mass into velocity so we calculated the momentum before the action so it will be uh, mass 1 into mass uh, mass 1 into velocity 1 plus mass 2 into velocity 2 and equals to the mm, momentum after the action so after the action the mass will change which will be the addition of the mass of uh, the boy as well as the cart so it will be 55 kg and velocity we have to find so by solving a very simple equation we got our answer as option b let's move to next question the energy possessed by a body due to the change in its position or its shape a very easy question uh, the energy possessed by a body due to its change in position or shape is known as potential energy again directly from uh, ncrt of class uh, 9 okay so answer is option b next a sound wave has a frequency of 1 kilohertz and wavelength 50 centimeter how will it take to travel 1 kilometer again a, a numerical uh, which is similar to example to 12.1 so you can see here uh, a sound wave has a frequency of 2 kilohertz and wave so uh, we have to use this formula in which v is the speed and lambda is the velocity and this is the frequency so let's use that in this formula now uh, so first we have to find the speed here okay and then we, we can calculate so let's calculate the speed speed will be uh, so 50 centimeter it will be by wait a minute so yes we have to convert 50 centimeter into meter okay 50 centimeter is nothing but uh, 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 50 divided by 100 okay so that means 1 by 2 that means 0 0.5 meter okay so it will be 0 0.5 meter into the frequency so frequency is 1 kilohertz that means 1000 hertz so speed here is 500 meter per second so we got the speed and we had the distance so distance here is 1 kilometer that means 1000 meter so we can find a time as distance by speed so it will be 1000 by 500 so it will take only 2 seconds so answer here is option D okay so uh, you can see the significance of uh, numericals which are given in NCRT so it is advisable to uh, go through all the numericals because you uh, you uh, you can see that the UPSC is picking exactly same um, just by just they are changing the numbers otherwise they are ex asking the same numerical okay next for an element with atomic number 35 which one of the following will be the correct number of electrons in the valence cell based on Bohr's model of an atom so we know that Bohr's, uh, Bohr's model of atom uh, uh, so the formula is, which is used is 2n square so using this formula uh, we can we can get the maximum number of uh, elements in a particular cell so you can see here in k cell there should be 2 in l cell there should be 8 and m cell it should be 18 okay and for the 32 so we have to fill 35 so let's uh, 35 can be written as 2 8 okay then uh, 18 okay now let's count how much it is left so it is uh, 8 to 10 10 8 18 and 18 and 28 so it will be 7 35 so it should be the electronic configuration the question is asking about in the valence cell that means in the last cell so it should be 7 so our answer is option D next which one of the following is not an example of a redox reaction okay so redox reaction that means in uh, the example in which both oxidation and reduction is simul taking place simultaneously okay so uh, if you are not uh, not a, not good in chemistry so it will be little bit difficult for you to find although uh, you should remember that uh, what is oxidation and what is reduction okay so oxidation is nothing but addition of oxygen and if it is loss of oxygen then it will be reduction okay so uh, but uh, you can guess just that this option or 
the question he is asking about which is not a redox reaction that means the in the given four options there will be three three of them will be of, of redox reaction and one can be of only oxidation or reduction okay so you can see here in the option c that uh, fe plus 3o2 becomes fe3o fe2o3 okay so uh, this is nothing but uh, oxidation of iron that means the process of rusting of iron and you know that rusting of iron is nothing but oxidation of uh, uh, iron so this is definitely oxidation reaction and the question was asking what the redox reaction that means only oxidation is occurring and no reduction is occurring here so the answer will be option c okay uh, it doesn't matter whether you know about any other options but but we are very much sure that this will be the incorrect option uh, this is the incorrect for a redox reaction so this is the correct option so answer here is option c so in this way you can make your options correct by uh, making an uh, some intelligent guess okay let's uh, which of the following allotropes of carbon is isomorphous with crystalline silicon okay so uh, let's eliminate the option first so the question is talking about allotrope of carbon so we know that coke and coal are not allotropes they are just simple form of carbon but they are not the allotrope okay so allotropes are only diamond graphite and another is fluorines uh, okay so an out of diamond and graphite you must if you have read the chapter 4 in the class 10 in crt so you know that graphite is not having a crystalline structure it is having uh, amorphous structure okay so it is also incorrect so we are left with our option diamond answer is option b so in in this way you can also get up to correct answer okay next which one of the following is the color of hydrogen gas okay suppose you don't know light yellow orange black colorless okay so but uh, uh, if you if you have to make an intelligent guess so you can you can just think that uh, if you have ever been to some fair where the person who is uh, selling balloons and he is having some gas in the in his uh, uh, cylinder okay or, or just uh, don't think don't uh, think too much okay because hydrogen is present everywhere so it is uh, and you cannot see the that gas so it is colorless okay other other than uh, why this question has been asked because uh, when you will go to the uh, when you will look the syllabus given in the official notification so they are strictly asking uh, about various gases so this question has been asked so answer here is option d otherwise uh, there is a separate hydrogen chapter in the class 11th in crt of chemistry so there you can find okay next which of the following is not a pigment okay so again this is a question means these type of questions you will uh, this uh, you will difficult to find uh, a exact uh, from where which line this question has been picked but you can solve the question if you are uh, thorough with your ncrt okay so which of the following is not a pigment so pigment uh, in general means color something related to color okay so that means uh, the, if it is uh, asking that which of the following option does not have any color okay so uh, the, let's see option c option c is white lead that means it is having a color white okay let's let's eliminate this option then chalk you know that chalk is uh, nothing but calcium carbonate and it is being used as marble it is being its uh, um, aqueous form is used for whitewashing so definitely it is having some pigment so let's eliminate this option if you are thorough with your ncrt you must have known that zinc oxide is also white in color so by eliminating all three options we left with silica and silica is nothing but sio2 which is a form of uh, which is a constituent of sand which is not having any pigment so answer here is option d okay next question which one of the following statements about fertilizers so you must be thinking why the question has been asked for fertilizer this is asked because the uh, in the syllabus they have mentioned that uh, about fertilizers about natural and artificial that's why the question from fertilizer is asked okay now let's read the statement so question is asking about which of the statement is not correct with respect to fertilizers okay 
so urea is a phosphorus containing fertilizer and you must have get your answer if you know that the formula of urea so the, the formula of urea is nothing but uh, nh2 co nh2 okay diamine uh, cobalt diamine okay so uh, can you find phosphorus here no there is only nitrogen hydrogen carbon oxygen no phosphorus so this is the only incorrect option and you got your answer option a no no need to read all these statements otherwise uh, although these statements are uh, seems to be true okay but you uh, if you are knowing just this uh, uh, the formula of urea then only you can get the answer so uh, so it's my advice that uh, uh, after reading the question if you uh, if you are not known about the question uh, so don't leave the question just go through the statements and by reading the statements uh, you, uh, you can admit some option and get up, get up to the answer okay next which one of the following statements is not correct so let's read the statements most carbon compounds are good conductor of electricity so uh, if you have read the chapter 4 carbon compounds you must know that most carbon compounds are poor conductor of electricity and the reason is that they uh, have covalent bonds okay and covalent bonds are bad con are having poor conductor of electricity so the answer here is option a only okay which is not correct so most carbon compounds are good con no they are not they are poor conductor of electricity so this is incorrect and answer is option a otherwise bonding in organic compounds are covalent yes graphite is used as lubricant yes it is given that they are smooth and slippery so they can be used as lubricant and diamond is an allotrope so this is also true next which one of the following reaction is an example of decomposition reaction so exactly take in question so answer here is option b you can see 2 ag cl in presence of sunlight it gets decomposed into ag and cl okay so the question has been taken from first chapter of class 10 next which one of the following is the mechanism of action of oral contraceptive pills again question directly from ncrt you can see that uh, if you have to use a oral pill so another category of contraceptives act by changing the hormonal balance of the body so that eggs are not released and fertilization cannot occur so the answer should be they inhibit the release of egg so answer is option d okay so this is exactly taken from class 10 uh, chapter i think it is also chapter chapter 9 the reproduction chapter okay next which one of the following plants has unisexual flowers so again the question from same chapter you can see the flower may be unisexual example papaya watermelon okay when it contains either stamen or pistil or it can be bisexual hibiscus mustard so hibiscus mustard and sunflower all the flowers are bisexual and papaya is unisexual so answer here is option a next a cell is unable to synthesize lipids so which are its cell organelles might be def defective so uh, we, uh, we need to find that which organ synthesizes lipids so in the paragraph of endoplasmic reticulum you can find that ser helps in manufacturing of fat molecules or lipids so that means SER smooth endoplasmic reticulum answer is option A exactly taken from NCRT of class 9 cell chapter okay then all objects experience a buoyancy when they are immersed in a fluid so buoyancy is uh, again a very easy question and again from directly NCRT buoyancy is nothing but upward force so answer is option A sorry answer is option C and upward force okay next According to Fleming's right hand rule, if the forefinger indicates the direction of magnetic field and thumb shows the direction of motion, so then the stretched middle finger will predict the direction of, so you can see, stretched middle finger will predict the direction of current induced in conductor, so induced current. Answer is option C. Again, a question directly from NCRT. Next. Two registers, R1 and R2, arranged in parallel combination in an electrical closed circuit are made of the same material 
and are of the same thickness. If the length of R2 is twice the length of R1, then the total resistance R satisfies. Okay. So there are two resistors R1, R2. Okay. So the material is same, that means resistivity rho will be same. Then thickness, if the thickness seems same, then area will be same. But the length is not same. Uh, the length of R2 is twice length of R1. Okay. So length of R2 is twice length of R1. So if it is L, then it will be 2L. Okay. Length of R2 is twice length of R1. Okay. Good. Now, so that means we can see R2 is nothing but 2R1. Now, if we have to find the if they are connected in parallel, if we have to find the effective resistance, so R2, so R1 plus 1 by 2 R1, okay. And suppose this is equal to R, okay. Now, let's take the 2 R1 as LCM, so it will be 3, 1 by R, now by cross multiplication we can get the answer as 3 r equals to 2 r1 so this is our required answer so answer here should be option a next what is the magnification produced by a concave lens of focal length 10 centimeter when an image is formed at a distance of 5 centimeter from the lens okay so again a numerical which is directly taken from ncrt although the numbers has been changed so, so the formula of magnification here is uh, h dash by h that means size of image by size of object or the image distance by object distance okay so here we know that what is the image distance we need to find the object distance so uh, let's write the sign convention so f should be minus 10 okay and uh, v also should be minus 10 so let's find the u so we know the lens formula 1 by v minus 1 by u equals to 1 by f so 1 by u will be 1 by v minus 1 by f so 1 by v will be 1 by 5 not 1 by minus 5 plus 1 by 10 so by taking lcm as 10 it will be minus 2 plus 1 okay so it will be nothing but minus 1 by 10 okay so that means u is minus 10 now find the magnification so magnification is v by u so v is wait a minute v is here is minus 5 okay yes so v is uh, minus 5 by minus 10 so let's now it will be 1 by 2 so it will be 0.5 so answer here should be option c okay next an a wooden box of mass 2 kg and dimension this much is placed on a table with sides 30 centimeter and 10 centimeter touching the table top so which one of the following is approximate pressure exerted on the table again a numerical which is directly taken from ncrt you can see it is taken from the chapter 10 example 10.6 so let's find we know the formula that force uh, so pressure is nothing but force by area so let's find the force and the area so force here should be force is nothing but uh, pressure equals to force by area so what we need to find so force will be here the force exerted by the acceleration due to gravity so it will be 2 into 10 divided by area so what is the area so area is 30 into 10 30 into 10 divided by 100 into 100 so it will be like this only now it will be 2000 by 3 so it will be 666.6 6, 6 newton meter square so answer here is option d so you can see the significance of reading in CRT. Okay, now why are the uh, why are the tires of aircraft made 
of conducting rubber okay so the question was bit confusing okay and the question has been taken from the chapter charges from class uh, 12 okay so uh, till now we have seen that there are there are, have been various questions which have been directly asked from class 9 and 10 so we should not worry about these one and one or two question although the answer here should be option d okay uh, so uh, let me tell you what happens so when the uh, aeroplane okay moves okay uh, when the aeroplane is starting to take off or landing so uh, due to uh, due to friction it will generate some charge okay so if the charge uh, if the charge remains so it may it may catch fire or it may create potential difference or it may create some spark okay so it will be uh, it will create some difficult uh, uh, si uh, risky situation so that's why the 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 tires are made of conducting rubber so that it uh, simultaneously also uh, the charge which are created also earth and okay so that is the reason and not because the uh, the friction caused on while flying so for that there is diff some different methods okay so we don't need to enter into detail and this option is also correct this is not possible so this so both the options are incorrect so answer here is option d okay so till now we had discussed all the questions so let me tell you the importance of the ncert up to class 10 okay let me count how many questions are from class 9 and 10 okay so yes leave it this was from higher ncert this is one okay so one then uh, evaporation yes yeah this is also two okay then leave it then okay then this is also three then leave it then yes this is four okay and then yes this is five then yeah chemical change six and then seven and then covalent compound eight and then this is nine and then this is ten and then this is eleven and then this is twelve and then this is thirteen and then okay leave it this is then uh, okay this will also you will get then this is 14 and then 15 and then 16 and then 17 okay and then 18 and then 19 and then 20 and then 21 and then 22 okay 23 okay this is also 24 And then twenty five. This is also twenty six. And then twenty seven. And then twenty eight. And then twenty nine. And then thirty. Thirty one. Thirty two. Okay. But this can be also solved. But otherwise, difficult. Thirty three. Okay. Let's leave it. Thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, so you can see okay out of 50 out of 50 just by reading class 9 and 10 and crt you are able to tackle 40 plus question and that is a very good ratio okay so uh, don't worry about class uh, uh, the questions are coming from higher and crt there means class 11 and 12 okay if you have completed class 9 and 10 and crt thoroughly you will be able to deal with more than 80% questions okay and this 
so uh, so i didn't focus more on providing you the solution to the questions which are asked from the higher ncert okay because uh, it is sufficient that if you are reading uh, if you are thorough with these two ncert okay and other than that if you have to if you if you are that much uh, willing to prepare from class 11 and 12 also so just go through once the syllabus okay so on uh, the the portion which are not covered up to class 9 and 10 so cover all the uh, take the topics from the syllabus and cover those topics only don't go for completing the whole 11 13 12 physics chemistry and uh, okay so it will be a hectic task so i hope uh, i'm very much clear in this uh, explanation video and uh, the motive behind was that to provide you an insight so that you can develop your own idea that how to approach uh, to the syllabus and how to approach um, this examination so now recently the notification has been released for the nda2 2022 and i think uh, the examination is going to be held in the month of uh, september i think i'm not rem remembering it exactly okay so now we are left with the month of june july okay august at least three months okay and i think three months is sufficient to prepare what you need to do is just uh, strategize your preparation go and watch the uh, go and uh, download the question paper of the uh, uh, nda1 2022 okay uh, see from where the questions are being asked and just complete the syllabus according to the need how the upsc is asking and nothing more than that now a very important uh, uh, thing what you, what you have to do that uh, the, uh, the message is for all the viewers who are preparing for either for CAPF or for CDS or for NDA so the questions asked in all these examination is important for all the students that means a person who is preparing for NDA can attempt a question of CDS as well as CAPF S similarly the person uh, who is going to attempt CAPF can uh, solve the question of CDS and NDA because the syllabus overlaps as well as the questions are also of same level and the questions that has been prepared by the UPSC are of similar level although sometimes the toughness level differs but the syllabus is same so it is going to make you prepare for the questions and definitely when you are so you will get two papers of NDA and two papers of CDS and one paper of CAPF. So if you have to count, then it will be total 100 questions. Here it will be total 60 questions and here it will be total 30 questions. So in one year, you are getting 190 questions. And if you prepare five years, I think no, uh, you can, after attempting, uh, after solving the five year questions of all the examinations, in uh, and when you go for any of the examination, you will be able to tackle 80% questions correctly okay and you will also be able to deal with the rest 20% questions but you will be able to to make uh, correct the 80% questions so you can see the relevance and uh, if you like the content then do, do share it I'm working very much hard to provide you uh, quality content so do share that uh, do share the content to all your friends who are preparing for all these examinations okay and don't forget to join this uh, telegram channel of PYQ Academy there I am I try to provide valuable information related to all these examination okay and you can get my other details of social media and also telegram whatsapp or instagram in the description box okay so there you can connect me directly and uh, uh, you can also ask me any other question any other details related to all the examination because I have qualified five times CDS, four times CAPF. Okay, I have been to all the process of interview, medical. Okay, so uh, I can clear all your doubts. So, thank you so much for watching PYQ Academy.